Hi, hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are filming the annual ranking all my eyeshadow palettes and today I have 23 and this I think would be a bit different compared to the other years because right now I really enjoy a neutral look, something more simple like the I look for today and the ranking I feel like it's pretty different but yeah i didn't watch the last year's videos because i didn't want to be influenced in any shape or form i just uh, rank them how i felt in this particular moment so on number 23 we have the gal on the moon from gloss gods and this is a great quality full shimmer palette i really like it but first of all it is a full shimmer palette i prefer a mix and second of all look at these shades they are blue purple and uh, green and I'm wearing something like this usually so it is obvious that this is just not my color story right now but I will keep the palette because the quality is just so great and I already know that I will use it similar to that this was number one at some point in my rankings so my preferences just changed a lot in the last six months or something like that because I'm sure that at some point I will do some colorful looks and I will fall back uh, in love with them but right now it's just not my thing and this palette is very colorful but again I'm keeping it because it is so great quality this is the Club Nebula from Kaleidos I don't think I mentioned it it is an Elika's collaboration with Kaleidos and I just love it. The quality, like I said, it is 11 out of 10. And these shimmers are pretty beautiful and I could still uh, wear them with some uh, neutral eyeshadows. They are so, so great. Then I have the Pat McGrath palette, this one. The quality is nice. I don't have anything bad to say about the quality, but it's just so boring and not it has some neutrals in it so so sure i will use it from time to time but i'm not reaching for it it's not anything special about it and it is pretty expensive so that's the only reason i'm putting it this low the quality is nice but like i said it is a pretty boring palette and then i'm putting the natasha dinona mini pastel palette and this one again pretty nice beautiful quality but from here I only use this shade from time to time and I have a similar shade in other palettes from Natasha Dinona. So because of that it's not my absolute favorite palette. It is pretty colorful and of course I'm putting next the pastel palette, the midi one. This again very beautiful um, formulas and uh, right now I prefer pastel palettes. If I would wear a colorful shade it will probably be a pastel but still. Uh, this is not my cup of tea right now it's just a bit too colorful but like i said i still appreciate the formula and everything and i know for a fact that one day i will just use a bright red shade or an orange or something and i will fall back in love with colorful shadows and it will be everything that i would like to wear so I'm keeping these for sure because they are great palettes so next we have the beauty bay tropical palette and i think this is the last very bright colorful palette that i purchased and this is bright bright the quality is so great but this is so colorful so yeah i uh, i uh, used it like three times i think the quality like i said great quality but it's just a bit too bright for me right now but um it's great i do recommend the beauty bay formula it is pretty affordable and nice and another affordable and nice formula this is the lost in los angeles and i love this palette I, I absolutely love it it's the best pastel palette in my opinion the shadows are so good quality blendable buildable and the, the shimmers as well are really special and so stunning i absolutely love this palette so right now i would recommend the beauty bay formula over the bh cosmetics one just because beauty bay is still releasing palette uh, bh cosmetics is kind of dead in my opinion next we have the martin cosmetics the mini pinky palette i really like this one i am actually wearing these two shades on my eyes today and it is a more neutral palette so that's the reason it is on top of the others but um yeah I, I enjoy the quality it is a pretty good palette so because of that it is this uh, high i would say compared compared to the other 
palettes. Then we have the Viseart palette. This is the quad in violeta. I absolutely love it. This is so, so good quality and you get so much variety with only four shades and Viseart formula is so, so nice. Then we have the Hella palette, the original one and it looks like this. Obviously this palette is this low because it's very colorful so I don't use it that often but ah, I love it. The quality of wooden eye is just top notch and this color story is so well curated I really really like it but like I said right now I like something a bit more neutral. A pinky reddish palette that I enjoy even more than the Martin Cosmetics one is this one from Natasha Dinona. This is the coral palette. I absolutely love it and these two shades are creating the most springy look. I just love it a lot. And then we have the NYX Ultimate palette. I have it in the shade Ultimate Utopia. It is this one that is more like a fall palette in my opinion. The quality is pretty nice and I like that we have a pretty good variety of shades in here and I can create something a bit more neutral with this one and this shade in here is so so beautiful because it is a I'm quite shocked. I'm saying that a, that a nudish peachy with some shimmer in it is a nice shade. Who am I? That is the real question. That is the strangest thing. Usually I recommend like a bright yellow or a bright red or a shimmery duochromatic multichrome whatever. Now I'm saying that a... <laughs> am I okay? <laughs> Anyway, so um, I am in my neutral era, but this one in here is so stunning. It is the perfect inner corner highlight and it's great. So let's move on. And my favorite reddish pinky peachy palette is this one because apparently I have like three or four. This is the Verdandi for Wooden's Eye. 11 out of 10 quality. These shimmers in the middle are so blinding, so shimmery and so chunky in the best way they are like flaky in the most stunning way i really really like them next we have this one that is getting pretty old and because of that i'm not using it that often but still the metropolis from natasha dinona incredible quality and this color story i will love it forever and it is pretty neutral so i need to reach for this one a bit more often but like i said i'm not doing eyeshadow that often and on top of that i want to put the, my dream palette from natasha dinona another pretty neutral palette that i need to use more often but it's stunning and these uh, neutral shades are so flattering and so nice and this babes babies shade is so so beautiful you get some multi-chrome shade and this orangey shade it's so so nice so i need to play with some eyeshadow pretty soon because i am quite excited at this moment then i will put a very affordable wet and wild palette right on top of two Natasha Denona. <laughs> Again, who am I? I'm reaching for this one so often. That is the only reason because of course Natasha Denona is doing a way better formula than this one and this plasticky packaging, it can't be comparable, but I'm reaching for this one a lot more. So I need to be realistic, but it is what it is. So this is a really good quality a palette from uh, Wet n Wild. It is the Call Me Sunshine palette and I really like the formula in here. It is very smooth, easy to blend. It is so affordable, so user friendly. I can't recommend this one enough. It's just so, so stunning. And then we have the Cosmos from ABH. I just right now the ABH palettes are what I enjoy the most something neutral with some maybe a bit of color from the shimmers i really like this palette and then right on top i need to put the mini retro from natasha dinona this will forever be one of my favorite palettes it's just if you love color if you love neutrals you will love this one anyway i think it's very versatile and this will this will go with me in vacation for the future as well. Even though my taste did change a bit, my love for this one will never <laughs> die. So because of that, it is right here. Then we are gonna put the newest palette in my collection, this one. This is the Makeup by Mario 
uh, the neutrals, the master mats. And uh, obviously this is a full matte palette, so I can't put it on top just because I need some shimmers in my palettes as well. But this quality did impress me. It's so smooth, so nice, so blendable, pigmented, is so easy to work with. I am impressed and because of that it deserves this spot it's so so lovely and i can't wait for makeup by mario to release a palette with shimmers and mattes something a bit more classic in a way uh, i would probably enjoy that a bit more then we have the earth palette even though this is a pretty green palette i can't not rank this one this high because it's i love it this green i still love green <laughs> that is not changing at least not right now but this is so 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 nice and i can create a more toned down look with this one and it's so good quality so i really enjoy it we have top three that are i think similar maybe to last year i need to watch the video back because i am right now i am curious but de nouveau i love this one and like i said aba just capturing my love for eyeshadows in palettes something neutral with some more uh, a bit colorful shimmers so that is what i enjoy and this is with greens so i can't i really want to put all of this on my eyes right now so <laughs> are you ready because the yaka palette is on number two i love this one natasha dinona great formula for eyeshadows this was released last year and it has so beautiful greens in here but still a bit on the more clay neutral side they are not that bright but you can create a bright look you have this bright orange and this one as well and a bright uh, green so if you want a very intense dark look you can create that but if you want something a bit more neutral you can just pick two shades or three and you can create that as well and i love it so so much it is so good quality and again my love for that palette will probably not change because it is so so good quality number one is this one it is a neutral palette you have of course a pop of blue and a pop of uh, orange but except that you have the most blendable formula pigmented easy to work with and this color story that it is pretty neutral and i'm sorry for the noise because it is annoying for me as well but this palette lovely quality and nimia did a, a great great job with this palette and i'm so happy that i decided to purchase it when i did so this was everything all my 23 palettes and yeah right now i am a bit on the more neutral side but I really want to create right now a very colorful look if possible because I got inspired from, from this video. So maybe I will do that soon because I am, I am excited. Maybe I will do a video on that. That could be a good idea. So if you like this video and you want to see more from me, please subscribe and give it a like and I will see you next time.